a couple seconds. All right, and yeah, we're good. All right, so here is what happened. So as we all know, I called this bitch on her shit yesterday in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. So I go back down to the lunch. Normally I just go home for lunch, but uh, the person I work with, you know, bitch I got in my corner, she's like, hey, just come to the lunchroom uh, like before we go back to work, right? I'm like, okay, so I get in there. This and crazy bitch? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. But this, the, 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 anyway, so this, I go in there. And this, you know, the psycho bitch. I'm trying to not use names, trying to, you know, yeah. keep people yeah, around. Of course. Yeah. But the, 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 the fucking stuck-up bitch I told you about, right? Right. They, they always hear me complain about how I got no food. They fucking found all this shit of, like, macaroni and rice and food and shit. That's all in boxes, and it's, like, non-perishable. They're like, yeah, we were cleaning an apartment. She's like, yeah, I wanted to give it to you so you could have something. I was like... I didn't even know. I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, is this shit expired? Like, I don't even know how to react. Like, this she knows my playbook. My playbook would be, you know, someone hates you, and then to win everyone else over in the room is to do a very nice gesture in front of everybody. Yeah, kill you with kindness. Kill you with kindness. Exactly. That's my – like, this is like – this is not – this is like knowing the perfect defense for my play, and I – just was pissed because I'm like, this could either be a very sincere, nice thing, or no, no way, she no could way. be a complete cunt and she's yeah. just trying to make herself look good. Yeah, this is war, man. She's look, she's trying to make herself look good. This is war. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So the bitch that I work with, right? She's like, yeah, you know. I was just like, I, I even brought it up to her. I asked like, what she thinks. She's like, I don't know. I'm like, you know, what? I think this bitch loves me. I think she's in love with me because I'm like, she fucking hates me and she complains and says I'm racist and all this shit. Well, remember but what Black then... Phillip said? Remember what Black Phillip said? The, the line between hate and love is so fucking thin. It's almost, oh, it's almost the same thing. So, it is the same thing. That's right. And, and then, then I'm like, yeah, but she always finds ways to weasel her way in a conversation. And she's like, and then this bitch is like, yeah, and she always brings up the thing about mice and computer mouses. That I said, you know, because yeah. I had, yeah, yeah and, and I'm like, I'm like, she, I really think she fucking completely is in love with me, and she just can't accept it, because I am literally, literally like this bitch's worst nightmare. And then I was saying, well, like back, now we're going back to the lunchroom. I was just saying, like, I was like, wow, I just can't believe you do something nice for me. I'm just like, uh, you know, I'm like, yeah, you know, because I know you hate me. You, you think I'm a sociopath. I'm like, you know, you have no sense of humor, and you know. You get offended very easily at everything I say. And she's like, oh, I don't get offended at what you say. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. Hey, bitch, yeah, yes, right you there. Get... Right there, her saying that is like uh, it's she's taking your words and she has to throw that response at it. it oh, it's, like, it's it's the light version of being offended, you know what I mean? Like uh, you said something and she has to be like, oh, I don't get offended at that. Like, um, like she has to fucking say it, you know what I mean? So what you usually say, if it's something a little uh, harsher, she's probably going to react worse, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. I, I can't even believe this shit. This is, like, just, like, compl I don't know how to think about this, man. Like, completely calls my defense. Completely. Had the shutdown. On the, it's like the first play, you know, I ripped off like a big 50-yard run on the ground, and the next play, it's just like a 15-yard loss on a sack on the quarterback. So like, maybe, it was just... I think the option now is something really mean or something really nice. You know what I mean? Okay. What do you think? Because... she's not a bad-looking bitch. Like, I, I would fuck her. I really would. she got big titties and... Nice. She's delicious. Uh, Thing is, is you got to figure out what you know. Was it? I think it was an attack in. in I that, completely think that. Yeah, man. It, it was in in a nice way to make herself look good while getting you to be like, oh, oh, you're not a cunt. Like I, I was trying to get you to basically take it back and be like, oh, but I, I was wrong. I was completely wrong. I didn't wrong. take it back. I did not take it back. I just brought that up and said that's kind of why you're doing this. Okay. Like, I didn't completely say that's why and you're then, doing it, but I just then, said that. But then know, there was nothing? There was nothing like you went, once you called her out on it, as you do, nothing really happened? Uh, no, I, I had just called her out on it, 
And she just said, no, I don't find you offensive. You don't know me. You don't know what I'm about. I do nice things all the time. And I'm just like, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. What yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, this was uh, very... Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, because if it's like, uh, uh, no, I do nice things all the time. Do you, though? Um, fuck. Maybe it was like you thwarted her plan by not, like... Being like, I'm all wrong, I'm wrong, you know, I was wrong, so you fucking, you are the better man. Blah, that blah, was blah. the thing. I never admitted anything. I did not fucking do any shit <laughs> like, I'm wrong, I did not back down, I held my ground. But I'm just like, okay, we have to figure out what the fuck to do with this offense, because this plan is not working. Yeah, um... I guess you could wind up killing each other with kindness and then wind up banging her or something, but... Uh, I'd love to. I'd be, I would love thing to. Is, thing is, with um, with HR, it, with the fucking, you know, the... the um, <laughs> looking at uh, yourself, uh, everybody looking at you, if you did something really mean now, then everybody's going to fucking hate you more is kind of the point. You know what I mean? Oh, I did something else immediately after this today. I like. Okay, what would you, you do? Know, it, uh, I brought up uh, this guy Everton. He called me a uh, what did he call me a half breed? <laughs> and like, like I'm like, and then I, I, I like half the people at work here are black, right? Yeah. And I'm like, see, I, I, I told him like how I'm like Louis C.K. How I'm actually a counterfeit white man. Like I'm a <laughs> counterfeit white man in every sense of the word, right? Yeah, yeah. So I have to explain my whole racial background to people because white people have to know, and I have to let black people know. And here was the thing. A bunch of shit happened. It was very interesting. So this morning what happened was um, we're in the room and it was like me, Moses, and Everton. We're talking about comedy and shit. And uh, we were talking about, you know, I was like, they're talking about Key and Peele's the greatest show ever. I'm like, I really liked In Living Color. And he goes, man, shut the fuck up, man. Those niggas, the Wayan brothers, they always fucking you know, like make black people look bad. I'm like, but they're, but they're good. But here's the thing. He said, he he said, those niggas, the Wayans brothers, right, and nobody fuck, because he's really black. He's really black, right? Like, real black. You know what I mean? Okay. No one even fucking, and, and, and right before this, my boss was explaining to me, because I'm like, he wouldn't call me fat. He was trying to find a politically correct term. I'm like, just call me fat. I'm like, I get offended if you don't call me fat. Yeah, just say it. Like, it's like the N-word. I mean, you're just, you're saying something. That puts the word fat yeah. in my mind. So then I just started rubbing my belly as he was trying to talk. I was like, ooh, just a fuck with him and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, so we had just previously talked about this. So then I just said, you know, like, Everton called me a half-breed. I'm like, I was shocked by it, but it didn't offend me. Because I'm like, Mo calls me that shit all the time. I'm like, because I'm like, I can explain him. I'm like, me and Mo had this idea for a comedy show we want to do. It's going to be called Ebony and Almost Ivory. Yeah, you, you know told what I mean? me. Yeah. Yeah. So then they start laughing, like, well, who's almost ivory? And I'm like, I am. And then they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, my mom's black. And they're like, no, she's not. I'm like, well, yes, yeah, she is. And then I have to explain that. See, like, my mom's really light skin. My dad's white, so it makes me look very light skin. But my sister's got, like, darker skin to me, and she's got curly hair and a wider nigga nose and all that shit. All that good black <laughs> shit. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. So I have to explain it. And I'm like, yeah, you got to understand. I have complexion for protection, usually. But I'm like, I'm like, and then I started, so I started saying how, see, like, you don't see me as this, but a lot of black people do, but that's because we have shadism in this community, and, like, this other black chick just looked right at me. I'm like, you guys are all shadist. You're all shadist because of what you just said. Like, no, you aren't. You know, you wouldn't take my word on it. I have to explain the whole thing, and it's like, I, so I'm not talking racist, but it's racial, which makes people uncomfortable, but you can't, the thing is, it's like, the thing is, what? with you. With your skin, is you you can almost literally walk into pretty much any community and blend in. You know what I mean? Like, I know it's great, man. That's it's why that's great. that's why I I could see them very very much being shadiest with you because you could easily walk into an Italian room and fit in. And yeah, you, the fucking uh, movies, uh, and, they always trying to break right, our shit. That's uh. right. And you clearly you somewhat fit in at Oak Ridge. There's still those racist assholes, but. You still got all white friends, and you fit in, and yeah. then you can go into a room like that, full of black people, and still fit in with it. like that's unbelievable. You know what I mean? 
Like, oh yeah, I got like I said, I got like the complexion that I can pretty much go anywhere. Like right. I really don't have any features. Like they're like you're like the whitest looking black person ever. I'm like I I know, but I'm like if you look at my skin, I have dark skin. They're like no, right. you don't. I'm like that's yeah, right. But that's because you've got like Wesley Snipes skin. Calm down. I'm like I can go outside and I don't get a sunburn if I don't wear sunscreen. See, like, that's I'm, that's the thing that like. The, that's the difference between black people and white people, right? We know we're white. We know we're not going to fit in in a room like that, pretty much. And yeah. we, you know, we know we're going to fucking fit in where we fit in, right? But I think, I think black people might be like jealous of you because now you can go fit in anywhere, and they want to as well. But we know, yeah. as white people, we know, like you know, what I mean, we're not going to be jealous of that because we're like, we know we can't. You know but I mean? here's the thing, though. It's a difference between black people and Jamaican people. Because Jamaican people, like the black people in Jamaica, are all, like, they have dark skin, like black skin. But a lot of them are racially mixed up because there's a lot of white, there's a lot of Jewish, there's a lot of ton of Chinese and Indian down there. So okay. they have black skin, but they have, like, I guess, white features to their faces and shit. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, like, the like less, they're not less... all. Necessary. No one in Jamaica is like a hundred. Like Mo is like black, but like even he's gonna be mixed up a little bit, pretty much, probably. So, like, so just, like, like might not have as big as a nose or. No, he know, got like, a wide ass nigga nose. Believe me, he he could fit a fist up that no, motherfucker. No, no. I mean, I mean, certain Jamaicans might have like yeah, a white exactly. person's nose. Okay. Yeah. Like, yo, Patrice's DJ, Drew Buggy, he's like, yeah, he's like, I got Chinese cousins, because he was like a really light-skinned black guy. Oh, yeah, too. yeah, I saw pictures of that like, guy. He actually looks kind of Asian. Doing extra duck sauce, man. Can I get a number three with the extra duck sauce? Wow. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like, yeah, so I said shadism's like a huge problem, and like, uh, they're like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, I try to join the Black Students Association at York. I just wanted to see if I could do it as a joke. And Moe's like, man, don't join that shit, nigga. Don't be joining that shit. Because he's like, I ain't even joining If I ain't joining it, you can't join it, right? <laughs> so I'm just like, I go there, and they looked at me funny. I'm like, I have to, like, walk around with, like, a map of my family tree to, like, get anything. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I can't – I'm like, I can only say, like, nigga around, like, people I know for a while – because white people will think I'm racist, and then it's it's a really tough it's conversation. It's a long, people. exactly. I'm like I can sit around Mo, but I can't. I can sit around people, black people I know for a long time. I'm like I can't sit around you guys unless I explain the whole thing. And then I have to be like, well, I've been called nigga so many times, like it makes my teeth white. Like I, I happens, <laughs> I've been called it so many times. Yeah, so it's like um, you gotta walk around with a picture of your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to like walk around with my whole family tree of my mom's side to explain anything. Uh, this is and my mom. Just... This is how black she is. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, like she's black, but she's light skinned You know what I mean? Right. No, no. Your mom's like she's pretty black as it is. Like you can tell. Yeah, but she but... can like pass for like a Mexican or a Latina yeah, if she right. really yeah, wanted definitely. to. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. yeah and it's so, just it's... Uh, that's fucked, man. That sucks. I uh, you gotta fucking. Oh man, that's the weirdest thing. I've never yeah, really yeah, thought it, of it that way. But yeah, it's just like, and it's like I I don't like it because like I know that like all these black people there, as much as they say I'll be included, I know I'm not. Like I know it. I can. It's a feeling you get, and it, I don't know if it's because it's like a skin color thing or it's actually my personality is just like that. But I like. Don't know. Mo completely took Mo. Mo just like is just like he knew what it was. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it depends. It really depends on the person of the color because you can't say the. It depends. It depends on how open they fucking are or whatever. Um. Uh. Here's the thing: it's is it, you wind up being, um, almost excluded and included. Oh, by I know every, what Colin Quinn feels like now. At the same thing, right? <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, you're included it, it, and excluded it by everyone. Yeah, and it's That's like uh, like that one chick. She looked at me, and I'm like, I wanted to be like, look, you're not much more black than me, so like maybe you should shut the fuck up. Because she really wasn't. She got like she's way more obvious, but she, in terms of like on the Negro scale, she's not much more than me. Fuck, you know? I mean, I, I know that's wild, man. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do about this chick. I, I'm still trying to think of that. Is like what she did. It. I don't know. It's clear. There, there's no way that it was just 
No. You know, every every act is, has a bit of selfishness in it, right? It's got to be passive aggressive. This is the most passive aggressive thing you could like pretty much do. Because it's it's on the line, right? There's that the there's the most a passive aggressive thing you could do right before it's just that nice thing that she did for. Yeah, someone. I know. That's why I hate it. Oh God! So it's like, what do you fucking? Okay, you gotta you gotta assess it. You gotta decide on what you think it was, and then you gotta act on it, and then never look back. See, that's why I had to bring up the whole uh, Everton calling me uh, whatever the fuck he said, because I had to change the subject. Because if it kept going, I was eventually gonna fuck up and say something mean and look like a complete dick. But I, I don't know. I really don't like. Normally, I can tell, but this is like, I'm certain it is, but. Yeah. I, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, because if you if you do something that's the uh, the wrong amount of aggression resp- in in your response, then yeah. you will look like a major asshole. So you exactly. got you got to fucking you got hit her properly. So maybe it's not like the most aggressive thing, but it's got to be aggressive. Maybe you have to respond in passive aggressive or. I don't know, because that's not you. You're not passive aggressive, so I, no. I don't even know what to say here. She she's got a good chess move here. <laughs> oh, that's what I know. I fucking hated it. I I'm like I actually need this, but I fucking hated it. I'm like wow. Like she, I think she she must have gone home and like talked to like fucking thirty guys and asked what she should do. Because there's she's eat like yeah yeah exactly. I just can't. And why would you fucking pay this much attention to someone that you said was racist and it bothered you? Like, yeah, I've never, after I started talking about the shadiest thing, I'm clearly never going to stop being racial. Race, maybe not racist, well, racial. Race, like, racial, here's that's the thing. right. Not, not racist, you're racial. You're always yeah. minding race. Like, here's the thing, man. When I wake up in the morning, and I walk down the street, the very, like, all I see is race first. That's it. That's all I see first. Because I've, like, had to deal, I've had to deal with this my whole life. And, like, then yeah. she's like, well, see, you're very light-skinned. You're not really black. And I'm just like, like, how, how would you know? Like, I wanted to be like, you're have fucking day walker. Like, how the fuck would well, you know? See, when you got to walk around, when you got to... When you basically got to assess, when you uh, start talking to a person, when you got to look at them and be like, okay, he is black, so yeah, I think I can say nigga and get away with it. <laughs> I think. I don't think this guy is going to fuck with me. Uh, this you guy's white, like so I think he will he won't say anything about it because uh, he's white and I'm clearly black. I think he knows I'm black. Uh, maybe. This guy's Italian, so I might be able to fucking. Make... But he's not Sicilian. Ah. Yeah, you don't know what to do if you gotta assess it every time you walk up to someone and start talking to someone. Then you're gonna fucking you're gonna be thinking racial your entire life. It's it's just exactly. Incredible. You know what? It's not even my fault it, because it's just something I've been born into, and I have to deal with it every day. Like I actually have to fucking. I have to like. I have to think so much more than you because with you, it's pretty much – I can't say it in front of anyone who isn't Craig or isn't one of Craig's friends who's cool. Like, I have to – it's almost like I have to say it to give you validation, permission to say it. Do you know what right, I mean? Right, right. Because you say it, I, I, I can say it now because it's like it's cool between us. Exactly. But it's like with – I have to like – like, there'll be times I'm thinking it. I think it, and I'm like, it could come out. And then I actually, I if this person gives me a chance, I might be able to explain the whole thing. And one of two things is going to happen. Either they're going to be like, oh, I didn't realize he was one of the brothers, you know? Like, but that's the thing. Or they're going to still like, you... be pissed, and I look worse. But then I have to, then it puts the problem on probably the white person who's going to have to deal with us, right? And be like, well, you see... He kind of can say it, but the color, like the the school law says he can't, but he kind of can. It's like it's it becomes such a fucking decision because then I can freak out on the white person who you know would probably end up dealing with us because I'm just guessing it's gonna be a white person or not even a white person, any other kind of color, right? Anyone who's not completely black or black, because right. then it's like oh, 
Well, if I give him a pass, then do you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta let everybody in. and it's like you you that's the power you have though. You have the power to either just I could make a huge cool fucking if deal. If if you wanted, yeah, because but beforehand you'd pretty much have to explain. Right? And having to explain like that is just a complete pain in the ass. It's almost like uh I don't know, if I was in your position, I might want to just be white or be black. You know I think I mean? that all the time. I have no idea. Like, I, I would just rather be one. <laughs> I'm like, it would just be, I'm like, this could, this can work, but it, a lot of the time, it's just completely easier. Yeah, it's like, I'll take, easier. I'll take all the oppression and just be, like, really black, or I'll take all the weak white shit and be really white so I don't have to explain that I'm both. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's like, oh, it's a fucking headache, but I'm like, like, I have to get you, I gotta, like, fucking, you know, sit down and explain it like Louis C.K. did in that, in that opening anthem. Like, it's Man, just like, I think you have a bit here. I think this is your fucking angle. This is where you gotta fucking come in. This is your shit, man. You should be doing this on stage. I know, because I should. I'm like, it's just, it takes, ugh, fuck. Like, I, I think this is good, man. You should start working on this angle. You should you really thing, should. Here's the thing. Like, when I... I I, I explained this shit when I started working at fucking, uh, uh, what the fuck's that thing called? Athletics, right? Like, I had to really, like, there's still people that completely don't believe me. Like, uh, Miranda, she always said, like, nah, I don't believe you, Chris. I don't believe you. You know what I mean? Believe and I'm what? just like, you don't have to, but, like, even, like, I show you a picture, and you're just like, uh, like, it's like I'm not claiming it because I necessarily want to. I'm claiming because it's, it's, it's what you it is. The truth. You have to. Like you, it's like you. Uh, it's ingrained in your mind now to always be stating that you are this. I have to. Like I. It's like if I know someone for more than five minutes, I fucking have to because I just have to get it the fuck out of the way because. Right. Like I don't have to go around claiming that I'm white. Because it's clear, I don't have ever ever have to deal with maybe being considered black in any way. So no, exactly. You it, have no, like, you have no it, idea what the fuck it feels like. Right. <laughs> the, the rules are the rules are clear. It's like I mean, if I'm with you, I can say nigga because you. It's cool between us. It's like it's a word, and it's like all right, no. Yeah, but, then, but then it also out. depends on the person. Like you could say that like to like someone like Mo, and he's fucking fine with. It. He's like yeah, because you gonna do you gonna say that you own me now? Is that you? Right. Right, well, like people, I I think you there's, like, there's a lot. Me, you white devil. You gotta you gotta assess the person because like Mo uh, is one of the people where it's like they're happy with the open racism, where it's not it's not yeah. racism, it's racial. It's like okay, he said it because he's not a pussy. He will say it because it's a word and it it needed to be said in that sentence in the context, right? The, so I don't work. think like Martin Luther King ever envisioned these fucking. Problems. I just don't. No, ever, I don't think ever. you ever thought this was going to be an issue. There's no way because I mean, how could you? Right? It's always been a black and white, literal situation, black and white, clear cut thing. There was like and, Sammy Davis Jr. There was one fucking guy. Right. So like the the gray area, I think, is just uh, it's widening more and more, and that's the thing is like the with the melting pot thing is what it is, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. Eventually, there's going to be so, like, I don't know, I, I think it, it could wind up being that everybody winds up with your actual color skin because of the melting pot. Oh, it will be, I mean? it'll be lighter than mine. It'll be lighter for sure. A little lighter, you think? Absolutely. I don't know. I, I think with all the Arabs and, like, Indians and um, mixing well, see, with The problem Asians, is white people you know got to I mean? start fucking everyone who ain't their color because if you don't, you're going to get sunburned and you're just going to melt the fuck away. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, fuck, I, I don't know. I, I'd be into black chicks. I, 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 did I tell you I got one of a, a black chicks number the other day? No, you didn't. I don't believe that. No, I'm not kidding. Her name that. was Nadia. I can have, I can have her text you if you want. I mean, good, I, good. I want cool. you to. I want you to, and then I'm going to tell her. You know, he has no soul. Just so you know. <laughs> I know no, this. We met at, we met at the bar. She was pretty fucking cool. And I oh, mean, shit. people were telling me I don't like. I don't know. I I always see people. Like the whole interracial shit, it's like I don't give a fuck at all, at all. <laughs> I, I just, it's like, 
See, here's the thing. You know who Mike would give you? I can see Mike giving you so much shit. Oh, Mike, yeah, I think I would, say. yeah. I think someone would be giving me, like, the eye, you know? I'd be getting an oh, eye. Oh, man. Yo, Teddy Gway, are you fucking for real? Yo. Yeah, I know, Completely. right? Completely. I know, that's Completely. my Completely. So it's like, I mean, I, I didn't really go through. I haven't talked to her in a couple of weeks now because um, I haven't had any money. So it's like, the reason why I got her number was to flex that I could get a number. You know what I mean? It's like, just practice. Yeah. So I just I just tried it just cuz um but uh I I think it's not a big deal to me. I just walked out to her I said, "Yeah, you know, can I get your number blah blah blah." I was talking to her and uh like earlier in the night and then I saw her later in the bar. She's looking over at me, she's smiling at me, all that shit. Like she was into me. It was fucking good. So sure. I mean, I don't know, but it's like I don't have a problem with it in any way whatsoever, you know? I just can see. I can... I already know that it's going to be... A, it would be a problem in your family. I just already yeah. know it. I know, I know it. Man. I know. It's like, what the fuck would I, I... I don't even know what I would do in that situation, but I, I'm almost I just, curious to find out. <laughs> look, this is, these are my walls. What's going to yeah. do? Yeah. Go bring them down. Yeah, man. But, like, hey, look at, like, Bill Burr and his bitch, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's, good. Uh, like, he's the whitest guy you could think of, but he's also, he's, like, clear that he's got, like, that, I don't know, the, the black guy aspect to him. Um, probably because he hangs out with them. That's probably why. Yeah, probably. Um, I just be, like, fucking, I just... I'm not telling you not to do it. Like I think you, you probably should do it. Oh no, I mean, you're just stating that it's, it's clear it would walls, be a problem. Man. Walls are walls, yeah. but like he's got a. I can just fucking see. No, you're dead. Like, I, I get what you're saying, man. I I completely understand it. It's like I can see it as well. I can see the future, you know. Yeah. Well, no, I don't mean that. I can just see like Teddy Gray being like, oh, you know the. Fucking Coons dropped the ball on the field there, Nick. Yeah, I bet you she drops all kinds of balls. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, I can just fucking see. I, I actually think I wouldn't get any comments. It would all just be looks. Yeah. It would all no, just unless, be unless he was looks. drunk. If he was really yeah, drunk. Yeah, you know, I could see that. If he had a few drinks, it'd be like... And, know, and Mike would drink like... To me. Two, Mike would drink two sips, and he'd be like, Yeah, you know what, Nick? I don't think it's good, man. You know, I'm here on the radio show and I'm trying to do White History Month, and you're just complicating things. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a perfect bit. We should be fucking figuring that one out. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Ruined, Red Phillip ruins White History Month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good name for an episode. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, I, I love this. You know what we're gonna do? You have, you know, what? on Wednesday you gotta get fucking Mike in here. You and think? we gotta I talk mean, about this. And you know, Mike on air would probably be like, "No, no, it's fine." But you know, like after, be like, "Can't believe you'd fucking ruin White History Month for me." <laughs> See, and that's stupid. I would, I would want him to be like on air, but like, "Yo, you're ruining White History Month." What the fuck? He would never do it on air. He doesn't have the fucking balls, man. Like, man, I, like but, you and Mo would just go off on that. Oh shit! Like, shit. Oh, oh fuck. shit! Mo was talking about it the other night. Uh, remember when uh, we were having problems and he came in before you and me and him were talking? Um, me and him were talking about White History Month and he's like, "Oh shit!" He goes, he goes, "You're the one that you're the one that wants oh, White yeah, History yeah, I can't Month, right?" That, yeah. And I go, "No, no, man, don't get don't get it mixed up. It's my brother." <laughs> <laughs> and I go, "No way do I want that shit. That's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard." And he goes, "Oh, all right, man." I, he goes. Oh, I want to talk to your brother sometime. <laughs> oh, I know. That's what we want, yo. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I think maybe, I don't know. Like I said, we should we should be uh, up upselling him, basically. We should, be, we should yeah. be hyping him up a little bit in every episode. You know, we'll have his bomb, and then we'll talk about him. We'll, maybe we'll tell a story about him or something, right? Yeah. And then one day we'll just have a good, like a special episode where he comes in, and we tell all the stories. We like, make fun of all the stories, and... We get him fucking talking about them, and then we get him talking about White History Month and all that shit. I'm gonna tell Mo right now, like Wednesday, where you gonna talk to Mike and Mike Goy. Yo, maybe not Wednesday because you know Wednesday's a little early. We should be we should be having since this is like the continuation of the last episode. It's still all right. All right well, you know episode. what? Just give it the ideation that we'll fucking do this. You know. 
What do you mean? The ideation that we'll do this, that we'll talk about the White History Month. Like, we're, yeah, all right, you know, we'll, we'll hype it up a little bit. We'll, like, we'll, we'll throw in our hype where we talk about a little bit of White History Month in on Wednesday. Oh, God, yeah, because that has to be done. That fucking yeah. has to be done. All right, and then, um, yeah, and then I say episode five, maybe, we'll have Mike in. Oh, shit. Well, Mike, we need, we need some more jokes. Right. So every episode we're going to get a joke in, and... Um, and we'll we'll throw a little bit of hype right after right after or before his joke. I'll be like, yeah. yeah, this is Mike. Throw a little story, make fun of him a little, hear the bomb, and keep going. It, like that should be a, a segment. I don't know what to call it though. Um, bomb of the day. I thought that's what we were doing. Well, I was thinking about that. I mean, we have cunt of the day and we have bomb of the day, and I don't think they should both be you know of the day. You know what I mean? One of them should be different. All right. Like the like daily bomb. The, the Daily Bomb. See, I like that. Okay. So, right. the da- like, the, I don't know. But at the same time, the Daily Bomb only states that we're talking about, like, a bomb, like a, a joke bomb. But what I'd like is the segment to be partially, you know, five minutes where we talk about Mike in some way. <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't know what to call it because we could call it, like, Mike's Daily Bomb or... Michael Dice Uh, Now, now another exciting adventure from Michael Dice <laughs> An exciting adventure, Jesus Christ! I don't know, something. Worse. Sounds like you're gonna try and touch kids on this adventure. An exciting adventure with Michael Dice Quay. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we gotta figure that one out. But I like the Daily Bomb, and then we'll have a cunt of the day. And, I mean, we're doing all right with that shit. Uh, yo, you got to hear you gotta hear me out on, um, remember I was trying to talk about this book yesterday, and we kind of just got off topic? Like always. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember the book I was talking about? I was telling you about it. Um, no, I have no fucking clue what you're talking uh, about. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, this woman uh, wrote this book called Nature Versus Nurture, right? Oh, okay, um, yeah. Uh, and it's it's about attachment parenting, right? Oh shit! And uh, it's uh, it's basically it's talking about how uh, mothers feel solely responsible for emotional health of their children, right? What the? Um, like what it's saying is uh, the media suggests that lack of mother's attention brings sociopathy, right? Through like sure. and like like it's almost basically what it's saying is. Um, it's making women think that any kind of, like, if they say no to their kid, you know, if they say no once or if they don't let them do something, um, it's a, it's like abandonment and their kid's going to wind up being, like, a sociopath, right? Okay. You know what I mean? So that's what, this like, society is saying. But what, like, what there has been, like, you know, many mothers where they, um, uh, hold on, uh, they they do it's called the uh, the strict and uh, regimented uh, tigress uh, method, right? Where okay. they um, they do say no a lot, and they they yeah, they're just strict with them, right? And there's no, and they they don't let them do certain things. They raise them with certain values. Their kids wind up being good, you know, or better, you know, than most kids. And this is the thing that I like. I think we could lead in with is. Um, the mothers that are doing this, this coddling, this uh, like amazing, like holding them so fucking close, bullshit, is um, is creating the clones. You think that's what's creating the clones? I don't know. Because you got to nip it in the bud, right? You got to think, where does it come from? Why is it? Why are they acting like that? It's because they're so coddled, right? Yeah. So these douchebag clones, like, clearly, they've only started. I mean, recently, right? I mean, in the last say twenty years. Our age, maybe I mean, I don't know. thirty years. I've been there forever, dog. You think? Yeah, but it's just easier now with the internet and hipster culture and all that shit. Okay, I mean, I don't know. It's just I think what it's saying is this um this coddling has gotten like ten times worse. Um, it because it's been like uh, completely supported by uh the media and then uh um. And then all this, you know, the tiger shit where uh, you got to be strict and regimented with your kids. That's been, like, 
just no one supports it by the, in the media. No one, no one supports it at all. Not. Why would they? Like, and what it's saying is um, the whole mother's trying to have these thoughts. Like, um, like if like a mother will have a thought where they're like, you know, where Louis C.K. is talking with uh, his friend. I don't know if you saw that episode where he's like, yeah, sometimes I just want to like strangle them. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking like that, and she's talking like that, and it's like it's okay because so you get those thoughts. It's like it's natural to get those thoughts because it's very difficult to be a fucking parent, right? So oh. what what the book is talking about is how um, they're not allowed to fucking even think that. Like that's being a bad mother if you're thinking that at all. You know what I mean? Well, why? Exactly. Because... It's because society says so, basically, is why yeah, it, that is. You know what I mean? So it's like, why why are we following this? Like, you're not allowed to think. You're not allowed to think anything. You're supposed to just, what you're supposed to be thinking is, oh, I love them so much, I'll do anything for them. I'm not allowed to say no to them. I have to do everything because I'm the fucking slave, and they are the owner. No, that's not how it is. Uh, not at all. And it, this book is kind of disproving what society says, you know what I mean? Or, and, and it's supporting the tigress, the the strict regimented mother, which should be, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, um, it's, it's basically a feminist book where it's saying that like the father is just not needed in, in, in raising children whatsoever. Shit, but... Yeah. So fuck that shit. Um, <laughs> but I figure we we can go in, we can lead into, like, this is a reason why um, these clones have been popping up. Maybe maybe they've why, been around why we, before. Why are we but, still recording this? Like, uh, Just because. Um, do they need to hear us talk about format and shit? I don't care, I but... No, I mean, I'm, I'm going to take it, I'm going to edit it later. So, um, right. yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to bring it to my computer and then delete it off YouTube. So, no one's going to hear this shit. I'm just gonna, just you know, it's like you were My using the camera. My credit card number is four five three <laughs> seven. That's actually the start of it. If you. <laughs> <laughs> My social actually, security oh, wait, no, it's number not, is. Um. Anyway, no, I was thinking I I could uh, either talk about that at the beginning, and then we can lead into this the clone shit through that because it's like, even though there has been clones in the past, where I mean. It's just like doubled in rate, you know what I mean? Maybe even more of just these douchebag clones popping out there because, um, because of this type of coddling type bullshit. Yeah. It's like it just it it, it through the coddling and nips it in the bud. It keeps us from um, uh, basically becoming creative and different people. Word. So. I'm thinking if we can get to the mothers and the fathers, the fucking the people that are raising these kids into being clones, we can change a lot more clones. Yeah, but you know what? I, I will never fucking change clones. They're weak people, man. They're weak. Well, see, that's why they're weak. It's because they've been coddled. So what, you want to just change the way to raise fucking kids? Yeah, because, I mean, it's very simple. It's not that hard to change. All you have to do is be strict with your kids. This, the whole strict aspect yeah, of parenting. Yeah, but you can't now because that's abuse and you should never hit a child. Yeah. Well, you don't, I mean, I, I never said hitting. I mean, sometimes a, a good smack is good. I'm not saying, I'm not saying not hit your kids. I'm not saying hit your kids. What I'm saying is just the just the word no has to be more so why strict. Don't, why don't we just uh, basically say that you know white people aren't uh, strong enough anymore to raise kids? Why don't we just say that? Because that's really what it is. Because it, yeah, pretty much we're getting that. But then, my mom fucking but, hit me all the time. Okay. But you know, like Barack like she, Obama and Michelle Obama aren't raising their kids properly because no. they fucking you know it, it. It's the social thing. It's the media thing. Like. You got like your parents didn't give a fuck because it, they're not exactly you know seen in the media that much or whatever. Yeah, no shit. You know what I mean, but once that social media contract hits them, hits whoever, hits people, then that's when they're changed. It's like it just seems like white people are affected by it more than of course black they people, are. right? It's like 
so basically we have to nip in the bud the, all the white people fucking all that shit up. You know what I mean? I feel and, bad for white people. But oh, anybody, I really do. Anybody that's fucking their kids up without being strict is uh, is an asshole and needs to be fucking changed. I mean, why don't you just not have kids if you're just going to fuck them up? That's right. So we can go I, – I figure we can go from, from that to um, – because what I, I got to talk about with all that, all the notes I have is about, I don't know, good uh, 15, 20 minutes worth of shit to talk about, and then we'll go into clones from there. The clones. And you want to you start right off with that shit? Or, um, I think we got to play the Star Wars, like, Rise of the Clones horse shit for that. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Um, do you want to start off with that, or do you want to fucking uh, just kind of go with the flow and see where we, when we get to it? Fuck if I know, man. I don't know. I say we start right off with it. We'll hit it, we just... and then... Then we'll make it lighter. We'll we'll go into the Iron Man three and shit. I say we just jump off a building. That's what I say. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna. Was that too much? Was that too much to say? <laughs> if I get... No, no, it's all good. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it on my computer. But I, I'm gonna take off now. So Yo, actually, can, uh... speaking of which, since this this ain't gonna be in the show, this kid at work, yeah, when our boss was gonna ask us what we hope to do in like ten years. He goes, I uh. I hope to pay off on my student debt and then kill myself. What? Yeah, and then, like, what? And then he said it again. Why? Said, yeah, I didn't even hear this because I was daydreaming. But he says, I hope to pay off on my debt and kill myself. He goes, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But, yeah. Uh, wh- like, what the and fuck? apparently he said this with, like, no joke form. Nothing. Like, Jesus. wow. Wow, that's ridiculous. And he was an Asian kid, of course. But, you yeah. know. You knew wow. that. Wow. Well, I, I, people I are didn't fucked. Know what the fuck to say to that? Like, yeah. I didn't know I could actually be shocked by hearing something, but that was like, what? Yeah. Like, are you fucked? Jin is crazy. Ooh, fuck, I said his name. Ah, <laughs> uh, it don't matter. Yeah, he's just even going to make it on the show. But yeah, he's fucked. But now you know, but don't. Yeah, he, the guy's fucking crazy. But like, I mean, I shouldn't even be talking about it. It's not sort of word. No, don't put this shit in the show. Oh, definitely not. I mean, yeah. I might I might edit. Uh, if. Because if, you're. I, I want you to tell the story about that bitch tomorrow. Um, yeah. But if, if, it, if it sounds kind of whack, then I'll throw your version of tonight. Like, your tonight's version in. Yeah, you know but I mean? keep out the fucking kid's name that I just told you, man. Definitely no, no, no. That ver- that whole story we probably won't even talk about. And I mean, maybe yeah. we will, but whatever, right? I, I'll definitely, I, I definitely won't ever put any names in like that. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna fucking. I gotta eat dinner and shit. So. All right. Um, Peace. Yeah, we'll talk to you there.